Hello and welcome to the Cinder Notes, Leaf 2 fan mission by Dr. K. Uh, this was made for the 1 million units competition, so we're going to another very compact uh, mission. And uh, let's read the briefing. While searching for more information about the Book of Ash, Garrett discovered that a group of rich people managed to acquire a few of its pages, known as the Cinder Notes. Not only would these notes be of high interest for the Keepers, but to secure them would most likely prevent a disaster in the making. One of these individuals rented room in a nearby inn for a few days. The district is densely populated, but there isn't much activity during daytime, and today the inn is closed for a short time before sunset. It's an opportunity Garrett cannot miss. Once again, there isn't time to wait till nightfall. So, uh, we'll start with Hard as a default. One of Carlin's associates rents a room at the local inn. It's very likely you'd find information from him on the whereabouts of the Cinder Notes. Rent is due, as usual. While you're at it, steal at least 900. A man like you needs to keep a low profile. Do not harm any innocent civilian. Once you've accomplished... Uh, what, about, what about the uh, guilty civilians, though? Can I, can I harm the guilty civilians? Once you've accomplished all your goals, you'll have to leave the district from where you entered it. Make your way back to the warehouse. Oh, hello. On expert, there's an extra objective. According to your sources, there's an art dealer nearby who recently acquired an expensive painting through dubious means. There's some profit to be made. Better get your hands on it. But keep a little profile, do not harm anyone. Steal at least 1,200, so the loot girl's gone up by 300. Hmm. Hmm. Do I do expert for the sake of the extra objective? Do I do hard and kill people? You know what? I probably don't need to kill people. It's a small mission. I should be able to knock people out if I need to, right? I think so. Let's let's try it. Alright, already we can see we've got a uh, very non-traditional uh, appearance. Does not look like Stock Thief 2 at all. Also, my mouse is... bear with me one second. Mouse sensitivity seems a little too high, but it's probably just that it's different between uh, what I had in Thief Gold, which I just was just playing a minute ago. What I have here. Okay, so this is a problem because I don't know what doors look like. I mean, I guess they have handles, right? Lots of crates of various sizes. Outside the window there. Oh, there is something up there. What is it? Oh, it's a bedrock. It's not something I need. <laughs> Carrot, don't jump when I want to climb. Hello. That's something I need, though. Oh! I, I, could, I could see that happening the moment I did the jump. That I, was, you know, I was feeling like, I'm going to fall down the hole. I'm going to fall down the hole. Sure enough. Well, I have a healing potion. <laughs> Gotta use it. Alright, what do I have in terms of other equipment? Broadheads. A few water arrows. One rope arrow. Okay. There's somebody out there. Oh, it's, it's all daylight. This is not bird well for my ability to sneak. There's a guard right there. Right, and they saw me in that fraction of a second I looked out the window, they saw me. So now they're hunting. Alright, they've calmed down. <sighs> but 
like there is no shadows to hide in. So I am absolutely going to get seen a ton unless I KO everybody at the first opportunity, Martin, right? I thought I saw something. Guards! Guards! Always nothing. It's never anything exciting. Halt! In the name of Sheriff Gorman Truer! <laughs> Not going well. I could try to hide forever. Damn, he's loose in the building. Saw an intruder, but I lost it. Look careful. Murder. I mean, go six. Murder. Watch out! Someone's broken in. I mean, code six. So she's still. I should have picked up the body. Certainly should have looted the body. I mean, he's not unconscious. He's not dead. But she's right up there. Saw an intruder, but I lost him. Look careful. Who are you talking to? Come out and fight me. Watch out! Someone's broken. <laughs> Like this is what I'm supposed to be breaking into. I don't have a map. I also feel like okay, she's just coming back door there. It's all right. She probably won't find me in here. Oh, they're suspicious now too. This is great. Why are you coming this way? Oh my god. Round and round in circles, okay? I don't have any flash bombs. What the? What the? He had no weapons! How did he fucking kill me? Right, well, good thing I had a save right at the start. Let's start again, right? Because that went terribly because from the moment that first guard saw me, the you know, in a fraction of a second as I peeked out the window. Uh, there's probably loot hidden on one of these shelves too, isn't there? But I'm going to have to stack crates to, to find. I've never been very good at stacking crates and thief. You are a little small to be of much use. <laughs> well, it doesn't. Maybe I'm wrong about there being loot on these shelves. It doesn't seem like there is. Maybe it's not. Alright. <laughs> However, there is loot up there behind the bedroll. Let's play it safe this time. Outside the window there. <laughs> there are a few small patches of darkness. See that? You're under arrest! Oh, they're very small. <laughs> Didn't even scratch. My god. I am I am <laughs> Who's there? Is someone back there? See how you are. Uh, 
I feel like you'll be safe right here. I'm going to preemptively take out these guards because they've been giving me so much trouble already that uh, seems like the wisest course of action right now. There is just enough light in this corner, uh, darkness in this corner to hide here. Good. Okay, that should make it a little safer for me. I was already regretting not going hard earlier when I was uh, having to fight guards in the streets, and it was impossible to knock them out in bright, bright light once they're alerted. I just saw this window ledge here, there. which is, of course, of interest. <laughs> Getting down a bit easy, you just jump in the water. <laughs> oh, we're gonna go down that way. <laughs> and you know what? We should explore the water too, right? Stuck on that. Right. Don't stand on it at all, then, I guess. I don't know what physics that's got, but I can't mantle onto it. I can't properly stand on it. Okay, we got another underwater passage over that way. I think it's again. <laughs> There's a balcony at the top there, which I don't believe I can reach. There's a wooden ledge all the way around here. I could certainly get into that yard, just as a wooden panel there would be easier to approach I could certainly get into the yard there, but uh Oh shit. Trying to balance on the fence, not to uh... Right. Garrett, grab the rope. So I want to get into the yard that way. I mean, it would be fine. If I could balance on the fence and so, say, you know what? Let's not, let's not go that way. Let's see what's down this way. Oh, we can go under. Oh, well, there's that guy in the end who's heard me. Hello? The big downside of these uh, contest missions is they're all very small. Hello. Someone's left a good wine down here. They're all very small, so noise carries everywhere.
They are on to you, my friend. I can't hold them anymore. If you wish to escape from Corrado's men, I know people who owe me a big favour. They will hide you until things settle down. Meet me on the 26th at midnight, the usual place. Bring some belongings. Expect several days on foot. Watch your back. R. You. Maybe not you. Another repair, that's that's nice. Oh Louise, Louise, when you I stairs, even even running I'm having physics problems getting up them. Oh god. Do not make one unit high stairs, people! Three-quarter units. Oh, hello. I'm ringing down there as well. Nice. Three-quarter units high. Maximum. You never, did you never read? I'm just going to stairs. These actually might be higher than one unit. That's, which would explain why. Like, crouching, I can't get up at all, which you normally sort of count as one unit. So this is like one and a quarter or one and a half. Not one, they don't look like one and a half. They're obviously taller than one unit. It's just... just no, don't do that. Alright. Oh, hello. Let's uh, reload that. This is a uh, texture that looks like wood, but is not wood. Kind of problem. That is wood. Right, well, we can see out there, but we can't get... We won't fit through those windows. Kind of stand at the ledge there. That's my road back. There's nothing else up here, right? Nope. Alright. Back down we go. It's be hard for him to sleep up there with that. Constant machine noise. <laughs> Whoops. There's a not very solid table, or a yeah, not very solid box, I'm not sure which. <laughs> Alright. He's gonna hear me dump in the water, isn't he? Something strange here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Canals below the inn, I guess. Where else does this take me? Oh, this looks interesting. Also dark. Oh, relatively. Switches that I can't use. Doors. Oh, that's a door. That's a door. You can I like that. That's, you can see through it. It's useful in this circumstance. Always opening doors into his face. So that's the canal there. A brightly lit courtyard, but I don't know if there's anybody around. Oh, there's somebody around somewhere. A couple of water crystals. I've only seen one extinguishable torch so far, so... Oh, hello, anyway. We are. I've been there before. I see. Yeah, these are one unit high stairs. These ones are the... It can be, be trouble for crowd walking up them, but they're okay for... Regular walking. 
Ah, oh, there's the guy. And here's a guy in the uh, in the kitchen as well. Yeah, it never is. No archer. I'm waiting for this guy to break me ahead to uh, turn and face a different direction. Because otherwise they'll see me the moment I step out, because it's extremely bright out here. Well, they're taking their time. You know what? Let's just try it anyway. We might be obscured enough. Ooh, money in the wishing well. Any more? So that's really good. I like that. I mean, you, there's nothing to see out these windows, right? It's just it's just the sound of birds, the sound of the wind, and the view onto the skybox. It's, clearly, this is the edge of the map, but it still makes it feel a lot bigger. You know, you've got these windows here, the sun shining in. Sun, the sunshine is nice. It's just not so good when you're trying to hide from guards. Hello? <laughs> Those look valuable. Oh, I can't pick this lock. This is the Arduino's place. Yes, because our key worked. Oh, you know, let's just make them think they forgot their key. What am I supposed to be doing with the art dealer? Get my hands on the stolen painting. Do I even know what it looks like? I'll take some apples. Oh, they have a nice little garden out there too. Also, probably the edge of the map, just the other side of that roof, but again, very nice way to make it feel like a bigger place. However, where... Where do they keep the stolen painting? They must have a secret somewhere. here for, but it's good. I'll take it. Uh-huh. What have we here? Uh, hidden entrance. There we are. That's the painting we're looking for. It's expensive. There's a little window here so that you can see, I guess, from outside, maybe that there's a room here and conclude something. Right, that's just another lever for the door. And conclude there's a secret passage that you're missing. I mean, they're not going to believe that they lost their key, are they? Whatever. 
Because we knocked them out. They're gonna wake up in a pile of guards. They're not gonna. They're not gonna believe that they merely lost their key. Nobody's over there. So I can get up to that window there, but why would I want to? There aren't any coins in this one, are there? No, people don't think that one's lucky. Public works. All oh, right, this is how I got it. Came in. Oh shit! They saw me. I got lots of these. Let's uh, make it a little more darkness here, shall we? Do come back down here, so I guess I'm gonna avoid them. Let's not make any more body mess we have to Oh maybe that's a scripted look. Maybe they didn't actually see me before. Here, some of this valuable plate shop, less valuable trees. There's no way he wouldn't see me when he turned around. So this guy is not the art dealer, just an artist, or what? My dear Emilia, I can finally pay back my debts to your father. Yes, my love, all those years of doubt are behind us now. A rich scholar named Lord Carlin came to visit my shop yesterday, and after a long conversation, he decided to buy my entire collection of antique books as well as a few trinkets. It was so sudden I could hardly believe it myself, and yet his payment was very real. He promised to purchase more if I were able to find some rare books and parchments. Therefore, as I write this letter, I am planning a trip to Bone in a few weeks to go meet your uncle about this issue, and to bring you back with me. I'm counting on you to arrange a meeting with your father so we can settle this matter once and for all. There is so much to do, and yet I can hardly wait to see you again, my love. Your Fratelli. I suppose I could have turned the lights out and that would have stopped him from seeing me. So what is this old chest that he has a key for? Something not that chest. It's not gonna it's not that. Oh, hmm. Hello. <laughs> we have an attic. <laughs> Which is not the best place to put a rope in, but too. this would be the old chest. Very good. How much do we need? We need 1200. So we're almost there.
guess we can't get out here, right? I mean, it's probably possible with some weird, I mean, and stuff, but I'm not meant to get out there. Hello, there's a ladder onto that roof, so. So that's definitely accessible. Do you have anything else I want, sir? <gasps> I could get down from here, but I think I should go back where I came. to the right, yeah? And they come back, they patrol up the way. Hello, what is this place? So this is the sea watch station. Fire arrow, you broadheads. Right, quick way down. Flash bomb that could come in handy. Especially if uh, Mr. Ninja Hands decides to attack me again. Alright, loot complete. What do we got? Jonas, we are done with your half hour excuses. You made a wager, you lost, and now it's time to pay, just like anyone else. Did you seriously believe that Lord Benedict disappeared because some witch turned him into a burrow and sold him to the black market afterwards? The man was a known drunkard. It was obvious he'd fall in the canal and drown sooner or later. You're the only one to blame. It's not our fault if you made some bad choices. Ongoing bets, 100 and wager. Why is the north wing of the seminary sealed? The roof and ceilings are collapsing. It is haunted. Or a hidden brothel where customers indulge in forbidden pagan rituals. Jonas. saw me through the door. <laughs> Alright, get him out of the way because he overlooks a lot of places that I want to. I don't like the looks of that. Yeah, see me through the door even though Imagining things now. Even though the door, you know, looks mostly solid, as far as the game engine is concerned, it's a single object, and if it's transparent at all, it is fully transparent. What are these two? Alright, there's two gates, we want them both open.
I'm gonna be coming back in a second. I think I'm going to use my blackjack again. I'll just knock him out. Simply because this place is so tight and so well lit that when things go wrong, they just go horribly wrong. It's too small for run and hide to be a useful tactic. Oh shit, actually. I should wait till they go. Down to the left. Hello? <laughs> because of that guard. <laughs> You'll be nice and safe here. All right, so. Let's go into the inn. Luciano, if you do me a favor and keep an eye on the inn for a few hours, then I'll honor our deal and expunge your debt. I have errands to do, but I should be back before sunset. Watch out for the guest in room three. He said he'd pay me this evening, but he seems shady. I'm afraid he'll try to sneak out while I'm away. Don't bother the other guests. They already paid for their rooms. Matilda. Oh, he does go upstairs. Okay. Take that. Hmm. I don't know what the upstairs layout is, so I don't want to just run upstairs before he comes down. Then, I also don't know what room I'm going to have to maneuver when he comes down to get up there with him seeing me. Mm. Maybe I just have to be quick. Oh, he saw me anyway. Enough of your ninja hands. Matilda, it's probably not going to be happy with the job that you've done of looking after the place. So he saw me, but he didn't, re he didn't react at all. He just started silently running. I thought I got away with it. I guess not. You know what? Let's leave some evidence that he hasn't done his job properly, right? He's just been drinking and passed out there. That'll serve him right. Making me waste my flash one like that. Hmm. Wonder if I can break this down. So this, this, this is a good, good room here. Nice guest room. Looks more like a jail cell. Door room, I guess. So room number three is the one you hadn't paid. Is someone there? Oh, 
one's key. Hmm. This looks interesting. My dear friend Dutwa, I rented you a room at the Robot Kingfisher Inn for the entire duration of your stay. Some heavy renovations are due in the seminary, and I wouldn't want you to take any risks. When I return from my trip in about two weeks, everything should be back to normal, and we may proceed to the next step. My leads regarding Lady de Guise and the Tristan family proved to be dead ends, and our friends had some major setbacks with Adamo as well. There is still the old quarter, but it would require quite an expedition to pull it off. We may have an opportunity with Bone through a merchant near the seminary. I planted the seeds, but I don't have much hope. In the meantime, I'll explore the dayport situation. We've had some issues with the lock mechanism to the library. With this letter you will find a copy of the key to my personal quarters at the seminary. I left you a note explaining the new procedure. I'm sure you understand it is safer that way. <clears throat> Regards, Carlin. So. Personal quarters at the seminary. <laughs> left a note in the personal quarters, I suppose. Else, nothing else to be gained in this room, I think. <laughs> He's asleep. Try not to wake her then. Although, it might be difficult to start busting down uh, those boards. Oh, very nice rooftop terrace here. I guess it could be a way down, but uh, I don't think I need to go down that. Alright, well, let's try some uh, plank busting. <coughs> no, we're just hitting, we're hitting the door, not the planks, and the door's not going to break. Yeah, all right. <coughs> Possibly that's also off the edge of the map. And it's just like the story thing, they boarded him in because he didn't pay. All because, he, all because he's got that terrible cop. And they think it's plague, or both. Quite possibly both, right? All right, so this front door, Rubak Hotel, there's a whole traditionally Manchester's finest ales. I didn't know we were in Manchester. Alright. Looks like they hid the cinder notes deep in the old seminary. Find them and steal them. So I can. Let's collect my uh, rip arrow, shall we? There's no window up here I can get into or anything. Oh, hello, there isn't a window up there. Have I been up there? Yes, that's the upstairs of the art merchant's place. So this must be the seminary ahead of us. What's this guy patrolling? So I open these gates, does that give me access to anything new? Steal from uh homeless guy there. Okay, this is, this is the Hello. 
So this sounds like the public works, but have, have I been here? I don't think I have. Oh, I don't have any more flash bombs. Don't think you'll escape. Oh, I'm thinking exactly that. Better just give us up as lost doors. I'll see your bones bleed yet. <laughs> ha! I've got you now, Tapper. What? All right, where'd you go? Oh, you don't have me now. Okay. Thought for a second I meant they were on their way out here. Intended to fall off there. <laughs> so that's the where I was on the inside. Been here? Oh, I'm confused and lost. Right, that's the courtyard. This is the public works building, and I didn't realize that this canal was different. Yes. Oh, hello. I was going to say that's way up here, but of course it's way up here. It's where I came from. Isn't it? Okay, right. So... Passage down here... Probably leads to under the seminary. Nothing there. We should introduce this mm -hmm. guy to my friend. Hello? I wanted to make more darkness here, I guess I have the opportunity, but now I got rid of the guards. Probably not necessary. One of these. Just 
just one of the houses opening doors. I don't like seeing those things, even deactivated. There's also a trapdoor. <laughs> Alright, so that ladder on the roof would also have got me here. Maybe that's the way I'll go down. dang guards and so much dang light they can see through the doors not a great mission for uh, being stealthy I'm just going to be preemptive here Okay, I don't know why I'm going to use that. I'm not killing anybody. Could always just uh, save and take revenge on particularly annoying guards or something. If this is a seminary or somewhere completely separate. Why are these numbered? Three, six. Because there's a guard here, there's one that saw me before, I think. I'm hearing somebody up above through the grate there, which is always possible. That's the guy who saw me before, okay. Oh, no, that's the guy who saw me before. Maybe, I... oh god. I don't know where I am. I don't know where I'm going. across the wooden bridge by the other guard? It looks like a wooden bridge. And where's the guard gone? Something. Ah. That's where the guard went. Oh, 
I've disappeared. Completely vanished. You have no idea where I've gone. Alright, you know what? I think it's a pretty good place to end the episode. So, uh, thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you back here to evade these guards again. Well, probably knock them out rather than evade them if I can. Uh, until then.